This is uh, Post Midnight Radio coming at you from 101 303 808 909, if you know what I mean. And you're listening to Owling at the Moon with the Rubber Baboon. Where and I tell a few stories and make some tunes. So let's digress, shall we? to return to its uh, real owner, China, and the mainland. End of an empire, really. But also, of course, start of a new era. New millennium and everything. West. I was a skater, of course. That's what you do when you're a teenage and in Hong Kong in a concrete jungle. Hong Kong is a good place for skating, really. I mean, I remember once I was uh, with a buddy, we traveled across the entire front of Victoria Harbor, never touching the ground. Because there was always an overpass or a stairway or a, a motorway that you could jump onto and never touch the ground. Hey, <laughs> right. I'm traveling home in the bus double-decker. These things go like crazy up and down the mountains. Through the valleys of the skyscrapers. And uh, there's this orange haze. It's late afternoon, early evening. Haze is really pollution, of course. But it's uh, enhancing the sunsets. Making it even more orange. Sunlight everywhere, and then sort of flecks of neon lights from the signs passing very quickly. All the windows are open on the bus, so the hot and humid air is sort of fighting the uh, artificially cooled air conditioning. It's quite a beautiful memory, really. song and this would be it
kind of had to take all forms of transport to get home. Went to a big old international school at the top of the peak, which is that big mountain in the middle of Hong Kong Island. It's where all the uh, expats live. I didn't live there. I lived way out in Clearwater Bay. But there was a uh, minibuses and double deckers and metro and it's called the MCR out there. Traveling Hong Kong is very efficient and very meditative.
Thanks for listening.